What's up, geeks and gamers? My name is Draymond, and welcome to Thorium Gaming. We're back with episode 22 of Freezer to Fallout, our adventures through the post-apocalyptic Boston wasteland. And of course, we've got Piper along with the rat. Uh, along with us for the ride this time, and we are going to be going and helping out the railroad a little bit more by securing a lighthouse. So what we're going to end up doing is helping them out a little bit. No, it's not going to be too grand. Why won't you let me go back into my personal view? There we go. So we're going to go and capture this lighthouse. Now, before we get into anything really major... I was asked to point out that Chaplain Grimaldus is taking some time off for some real-world stuff, but you can still contact him through his information that's up on all of our various forms of media. So, if you need him, you can get a hold of him. And, of course, we start off by going right into a firefight with some Rust Devils some skull leveled rust devils over the last week or so I've been playing a lot of Warframe with the 232 and I'm used to a much much faster sort of play right now. I haven't actually picked up Fallout since last week's episode. Not an indication on the game or anything. Just me being weird and doing my thing. We do not need a wooden spoon. In fact, I would do everything I can to avoid the wooden spoon because bad, bad memories. It seems like the Brotherhood of Steel is everywhere today. Alright, so we actually need to go back around over to this bridge here so we can get going on to the lighthouse. Now, the reason we're helping them railroad out is we need the Ballistic Weave mod for all of our combat gear. Since we are not doing a power armor playthrough, that stuff is vital. And it's starting to bug me now, so I'm going to quickly reduce our rads. That should have got rid of more... There we go. That should kill off all our radiation. Yeah, since we're not doing a power armor playthrough at all right now, we've used it a couple of times to go to the Glowing Sea and a little bit of other stuff where the radiation resistance is important, but we're not using it as our primary form of shielding, ablative or otherwise. So getting the Ballistic Weave mod to make ourselves a little bit tougher is a good thing. And we do need to get the settlements in the Commonwealth built up a little bit for the Minutemen because it will come into play later on but for the time being we can lose one or two to help the railroad out now this is Lukowski's fish packing plant there's a lot of aluminum inside however if you go in there is a trader in there wearing a vault suit and there's one of the traveling merchants. If you have a proper setup, you can get her to join your settlement, and we currently don't. So I'm going to just simply avoid it. It's eerie that we're out in the fog while we're approaching a lighthouse. A lot of horror games start this way. And that's a landmine. So it looks like we're dealing with some children of Adam.
So just on the off chance that these guys can do some more to us, we're going to throw some Radax into our system. Clear away the radiation they've already given us. That's the beauty and detriment of gamma weapons. Grab one gamma gun, because eventually we may want to use it just for the laughs. I don't know where the rest of these guys are. I'm assuming they're up in the lighthouse. Alright, so that's the big guy on top done. It's apparently a child of Adam over here as well. I hate radiation weapons. Apparently I can't hit anything with my shotgun today. Kind of a weird cult to worship radiation itself. I think we're gonna rat away some of that too. Should be more economical with our rataways, but Okay, they can see us apparently. few more gamma rounds wouldn't hurt. And let's find out what's up at the top of the tower. We know there's one guy with a, apparently a decent enough pipe sniper rifle. Let's keep going all the way up. Ooh. And that would be a glowing one. So kind of ironic that they're using a glow one as or a glowing one, I should say, as a lighthouse bulb. I guess that's what they were doing. Doesn't seem like there's really anything else out here. Apparently something is stuck to my mouse this time. It's causing everything to static on my desk. Apologies for this. Random and weird. There we go. I think I got it. Going up and downstairs kind of makes you nauseous. Alright, so we have to apparently build some defenses here.
don't have enough steel or gears. Do we have enough to build a regular guard post? Doesn't look like we do. But if we can scrap something inside that gives us some wood. We can build a couple of guard posts and that should take care of it. Put one right there. There. Might not let us do it that way. So let's see if we can get some gears out of all the stuff that's in here. Some rubber. If I would have known I had to build defenses, I would have brought some supplies with us at the very least. here would give us gears. Don't think there's actually that much here that would actually do that. Unless there's some stuff in the lighthouse that just straight up missed. The boat area is part of the settlement, but I don't think I've ever really used it before. Well, there's some gears from that wrench. Ew. Let's get rid of the radiation. Don't need any more of that stuff around here. Right, when we're in the building mode, shift no longer makes me run, it makes me go really, really, really slow. Was that a weapons workbench or an armor workbench? Because if it's weapons, we might be able to break down their gamma guns. It's weapons, so let's book it back up top real quick. I swear the DPI on my mouse today is just weird. So this guy up here had a pipe rifle. Might give us some years. There's a 50 cal bolt action rifle in there. We'll see what the gamma guns are able to give us for parts too. I was kind of hoping there would have been a magazine or a bobblehead or something at the top of the lighthouse, but you can't have everything you want. So if we scrap it, doesn't work for us there. No gears on that one. Just no luck today. Oops, that is the wrong button. What else could give us gears? Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Let's see if they've got anything on them. Telephone might have a gear in it. Why Children of Adam was randomly carrying around a telephone, I don't know. Let's see if that lets us build a turret. Apparently not. Might have to go on and then come back. I 
There is a safe in the wall here that apparently we could not dismantle, so maybe we'll get lucky and there's something in here that we can use to get our gears. That's it. Of course I could just be going crazy, which is entirely possible. And there we go. So that'll give us enough to build at least... We have the sharpshooters one, so we can delete the regular ones. There is an attachment later on for gamma guns that... Make them suck less, I guess would be the best way to put it. Alright, so we've got 50%. Let's see if we can put any of the random wooden traps around. Needs aluminum. Doesn't necessarily say it has to be working and good defenses. I don't think that counts. And we could build a Tesla arc though. Just hide that off over there. I think we're going to need to get some more gears. So what's close to us? Hugo's hole, but if we go adventuring, we can probably find something that's got a couple of gears in it. That sounded like another radiation mine. That looks like an old military shelter of some sort. And that was a radiation trap. Great, everything around here is trying to irradiate us. Let's get rid of that real quick. Just illusions. No doubt put in my head by the fates. And there's more skull level enemies, so that's probably not a good way to go. I haven't done much exploring in this region, so. Pretty much anything could happen here. This looks like some sort of old church. And investigate the butchered body. Private Hearts Holotape. Guessing the next objective that'll pop up is to listen to it. Yep. For a quest called The Devil's Due. Not too sure we want to get into that, but this is the Museum of Witchcraft, actually. We did have a quest to come and investigate this earlier. I know what's inside, and not really something we want to do just yet. Right now, we're just hunting for gears. Welcome to Salem, Massachusetts. Random church over there. I'm seeing a lot of wires though. So does this place still have power? Somebody's having fun over there. Stairs and see if we can get an eye on this guy before anything else happens. There's some turrets up here. They don't really appear active. 
can probably jump down over here and not die. Alright, so the quest objective just popped up to kill the Mirelurks. So let's see what this is all about. Alright, so apparently we have to talk to Barney. It's gonna take a lot more than some big fish to scare me. Are you crazy? Get out of the street before any more of them catch wind of you. Look, I'll open the gate and you get in here quick. I'm gonna let you in the bunker. Don't make me regret that. Okay, so apparently this is his bunker. Okay, looks like he's going downstairs to the basement. Let's see if there's anything else up here that we can grab before we go there. That fuse box didn't really do anything, but there's some gamma rounds and some fusion cells. Not that we're really going to be using either of those anytime soon, but let's go down and check out what this guy's all about. I thought that was a holotape for a second. All right, so Mr. Barney. Son, did someone drop you on your head as a baby, or did you have to work to get this stupid? Not exactly a great way to introduce yourself, but... I could have handled myself. Oh, I saw how you handled yourself, froze on the spot like a deer in headlights. If it weren't for me, you would have been cut up like a paper doll. Luckily, I've got Reba here to help me crack those crabs wide open. Isn't that right, girl? Um, Reba? Who's Reba? Are, are you talking about your gun? She's not just a gun. She's top of the line. Best gun in the Commonwealth. Made her with my own two hands. Oh, where are my manners? Introductions. Barney Rook, commander of the Salem Volunteer Militia, at your service. I'm also the quartermaster, sergeant at arms, and scribes for all official meetings. This here is Reba, but you two already met when she saved your life. Um, okay, so he's a little off, just a little bit. Is it just the two of you? Where's everyone else? Wasn't always just two of us. Now, I'd love to sit here gabbing all day like a couple of housewives. But we've got some work to do, and by we, I most definitely mean you. Before you showed up, the Meyer Lurks had been mostly quiet. And those that were a problem were quickly dispatched by my turret defense system. Since things have been quiet lately, I took the turrets offline to conserve ammunition. Obviously, they need to be reactivated. And that's your mission, soldier. I'm going to continue to hold down the home front while you go reactivate the turrets. All right, well, we can do that. Sounds good. Of course it sounds good. I'm a tactical genius. Smartest man in town, as a matter of fact. The turrets should be easy enough to find. They're up high in strategic locations around town. Just be careful. All your noise probably woke up more crabbies and other mire larks. The town could be crawling with them by now. All right, then. But look at this, a Guns and Bullets magazine. So more crit damage on all of our ballistic weapons. Come on, Piper, it's his home.
I mean, the dude might be crazy, but... We dealt with worse. Better. I guess stealth is not really going to be an option here. game would keep away the from the mire lurk. Right, so let's see if we can get some of these turrets online to help us out. this terminal right behind the turret. Alright, so that's one turret online. At least now we know we have some covering fire if we have to run back this way. And I remember we saw that terminal at the top of the, the steeple. I was about to say lighthouse, but it's a steeple. what going randomly hunting for gears will do for you. And we missed a mini nuke and some 308 rounds when we were up here last time. That's a couple more turrets activated. Dude's obviously spent his time getting this place all fortified. There's a fat man launcher. We're going to need Piper to come find us again because now we're overburdened. Apparently I am stuck in something, but we did level up, so let's do that while we're thinking about it. Can't get Gun Nut rank 4 just yet. We need 10 more levels before we can. Can't get Science until pretty much the same era. But what we can do is dump another point into our Intelligence, which will level us up faster. pre-war money. It weighs nothing, even though we are overburdened. And we can't pick a master lock just yet. I'll try to remember to come back here for it later, but my memory doesn't work very well a lot of the time. So let's give Piper a fat man. We're not going to give her a shell, of course. Last thing we need is for Piper to go all nuke happy on us and end up nuking us. She's not really the most conservative type when it comes to ammunition. Giving her a heavy weapon would definitely not be a good thing. That's a couple of Mire Lurks.
that apparently can't get me here. So, you know what? I'll take it. Where'd that kill claw go? Alright, let's grab this turret and make sure it's on line. One more to go. same building and I just jumped down for no reason? Could be. Let's climb back up there and find out. Yep, it's up a little bit higher. I think we're going to have to go through this mess that is the Mirelurk's nest. have to go pick up some more ammo eventually here too. Wow, I cannot remember my key bindings today for some reason. Which of course I blame on Agnew and Will for getting me into Warframe. So that's all five of them activated. Let's head back over to Barney and see what that's going to do for us. Let's be free friendly with him. No problem, Barney. Glad to be of service. Well, Reba and I appreciate it. We won't soon forget you. Now, about that reward. Here's a key to my workshop in the bunker. Reba too should be sitting on the table in there. I'd say you earned her. Now, if you'll excuse me, I believe today is earmarked for some target practice. The Salem Volunteer Militia never rests. Okay, so he's not entirely crazy, just mostly crazy. There's a combination wrench that'll give us a gear, which we can use at our new settlement to build some more stuff. Grab that hot plate. They're usually good. There's not really much else out here, but let's keep looking just in case. Adjustable wrench will definitely give us a gear. There we go. Does 50% more damage against Mirelurks and bugs. It's a 308, but it's not bad. Now we have another weapon that if we have to do something, we aren't completely out of ammunition. But we are overburdened again. Is there anything we can break down? No. got to figure out what it is that I've been carrying around. It's causing me to have so much extra weight. Um, bad time, Piper? Hey. Just let me know. 
We'll hand you Reba 2 for now. Probably a bunch of my aid stuff. So I want to keep the adjustable wrenches on here. Alright, so we should be back to our normal weight. We can go build that other turret and finish off that mission for the railroad. jump out of here and go to the Kingsport Lighthouse. And that should complete the quest. Now we have to report back to Pam. It's jumping around this time. I believe she's what? over here. I hope to God the Institute doesn't find us here. Pam. Setting human machine interface to 100%. Good day, agent. My data indicates Mercer Safe House has been established. Reward dispensed. Further help is required. I have the location of a Black Ops cache. It contains supplies our organization needs. Railroad Alpha has asked for you to secure the cache from any hostels in its vicinity. Alright, um, get details, I guess? Tell me about the mission. The cache is hidden in compliance with tactical counter surveillance protocols. This RFID device will locate and unlock the cache upon close proximity. That's pretty high tech for an underground organization. Nice. That sounds pretty high tech. Correct. The cache belonged to the Defense Intelligence Agency. The DIA's technological capabilities were more advanced than many branches of the government. You only have to secure the cache. Runners will transport contents on a separate timetable. Terminating human machine interface. Alright, so we've got an RFID. Tom needs you. Keep bugging. And apparently Tinker Tom needs to talk to us. Wherever he ended up. Why terraform the Commonwealth? Why would the Institute terraform the Commonwealth? It goes back to the big war. Who set off the first day bomb? The Institute did. They started the whole war to kill everyone except their own diabolical science. And the terraforming? But what's that have to do with terraforming? Everything, man. You see, humanity didn't kick the bucket like they planned. We're still hanging on. So first step, artificial people come to infiltrate spy and salvage the metric tons of gizmos they need and once they get all the parts they need whammo the big atmospheric converter inside blake tower starts spewing poison into the stratosphere to kill every last one of us all right well give us the details give me details so my sensor i call a mila needs to be up high real high Dan's forced me to put some cameras and, you know, other low-tech surveillance crap on it to watch the Freedom Trail. Chuck that stuff if you need to. Like, you know, who couldn't spoof a conventional camera, right? Cameras? We need cameras watching the trail? Look, I engineered the trail markers in cold frame myself. So anybody comes looking for us, whammo. Spot it a mile away. Sure, the cameras could add a little insurance, but discovering the truth about the Institute's real plan is way more important. I got the perfect spot picked out. Set Mila up and let the juicy data pour in. Okay then. So 
So I think we're gonna go do the supply cache, because something about Tom just kind of rubs me the wrong way. So... Where exactly is this? Postal Square. I don't want to go to Good Neighbor itself. So I guess we're going to go into it and see if we get dropped right in the middle of a hostile situation. Alright, so apparently there is a skyscraper around here somewhere that we gotta go into. And... Which direction do I gotta look though? Back to my left. I mean, it would be that one. So now we just need to find a way to get inside the building. Kind of ignoring that raider because we don't really need any raider gear right now. Been carrying too much junk around as is. Into the pinnacle high rise. Just gonna grab that laser pistol just in case we run out of ammunition. Was that all we actually had to do in here? I guess so. Kind of a letdown as far as I was concerned. Like, I was hoping there was going to be some more stuff in here like lots of people to shoot at us and fun times but apparently it's just a handful of gunners and there doesn't appear to be a way to go further up at least from in here Maybe the elevator would take us up.
always seems like we run into gunners and super mutants side by side, usually fighting one another. Let's actually get out of here and finish off that mission with Pam. Severely limited on 45 ammo. We have one shotgun shell. Head back to Railroad HQ. And talk to Pam. The name's Drummer Boy. It's my envious job to keep track of all the dead drop. Grab incoming agents and tell them where they're needed. I don't suppose you want to switch places. Well, you've got some important jobs, man. That can be an important job. Yeah, right. I can be replaced by a stupid chalk. We'll be seeing each other. A lot. Word is, Diamond City is under my position. Solve it for Theta N when I approach his probability bounds. The runner should be able to get to the cash now. Reward dispensed. Future tasks may be assigned. Alright, so jackpot ruins. Okay. Covert sweater vest added. So now we're overweight again. But that's probably a good place to end it for this week, guys. If you did like the video, please consider hitting that like button. If you'd like to join up with the 232, our own little community, just hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn your notifications on so you don't miss when a new video comes up. And remember, guys, life is a game, so play to win. And until next time, take care.